Hey, what's going on, folks? I'm Automatic. The Gill trailer just dropped at the North America Regional Finals. Uh, so let's just play through it. We're going to do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, do some analysis and see what B Gil could potentially do when he's released, you know, with that fiery hot new V skill that we got going on. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Ready T for team. My unveiled. Bond chance I got analysis? Not today. I I'm answering the Twitch to chat. The entire world. I didn't know what to expect. I knew I heard that voice before. It sounded when familiar. The time of the prophecy comes, you see the red and the blue? We're just going to let it play through and then we're going to go back and look at some of the moves closer. Rejoice, already knowing who I am. He looks really good. You got the fire and ice. And by that I mean pyro and uh, cryo. Just like a third strike. Man, this character was so busted in Third Strike. But the Xbox, you could play him online. <laughs> he had like clothesline loot. You could do like headbutt, clothesline, clothesline. He'd be like, die, die. He'd be like 50%. Well, look at that fireball activation. Can he do it empty though? This is Primal Fire. I'm assuming this is the three bar. But we'll see. That's probably like you hit heavy punch and heavy punch together. I'm supposed to watch, man. Watch. But I can't help myself. When I see things, uh, new things, I just want to like, you know, uh, put the pieces together. V skill two, blocking, blocking. That's what they in Japan they call parrying, blocking. Time to return to harmony. Time to return to harmony. Let me be. That's what he said. Oh, look at him quad. Okay, Get the sunlight on him. And he got a new stage, Sun Chase Moon. With the Sparta. Uh, I don't know, something great. Pyrod from Dark Stalkers. And of course, the Champion Edition. Maybe we'll talk about this later. They're including, uh, yeah, I guess they see it right here. Gil V Skill. Wait a minute. So I guess this is coming out at Febru <laughs> February 14th? Whoa, whoa, whoa. But Gil is going to be at Capcom Cup. He's going to be playable at Capcom Cup. But I think he's going to be released around there too. I don't know. I'm doing the whole YouTube guy thing. I gotta use my hands and stuff. Action shot. Now I gotta edit some uh, like weird scenes with sound effects. Pre-order now. All right, all right, all right. Let's take a little bit. What do you got? Besides feathers. In a cool stage. You got the cryo sun and the cryo moon or something like that. It's got little blue and red and blue things. All right. Intro. Cool. Okay, so that's probably medium punch fireball. Oh, you know, I believe in Third Strike, depending on which side you were, uh, it would throw the Pyro or the Cryo. I doubt that's going to be the case in this game. What I think is going to, what it's going to be is Heavy Punch will be the Air Projectile, and then Light and Medium will be Fire and Ice. And man, that would be sick if the Ice actually freezes their stun bar. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know yet. That's probably some. I, I don't think he has this move in Thirst Strike. I've never seen him do that. Maybe it's an overhead. Uh, does he combo off of it? Or maybe it's just like his heavy punch. I believe he has the same heavy punch as Yurian in Third Strike, at least. I can slow this down, actually. This is probably. This is like a Yurian's. What's it called? Forward and medium punch. The, quarrel kick? I think it's called that. I think he has the same one. Maybe it's down forward, heavy kick, down back, heavy kick, something like that. Uh, I would imagine either crush counters, it's a heavy attack, maybe a crush counters. You, Urian's used to. This is probably just normal throw. Sometimes in these trailers, they don't actually show you when the opponent gets off the ground. They just want to show you the animation, not really the the function of it exactly. They don't show you when they get off the ground. And you normally don't have Oki. Like, you can't dash up and have advantage after throws in this game. I don't think any character besides, like, Akuma's minus one. So you, you can bet. Well, actually, we can take a look at how close he is, maybe. That's probably an overhead. Uh, yeah, yeah, that probably is an overhead because he got hit crouching. Maybe they're trying to indicate that in the, the gameplay. So we can look at how close they are a little bit. It looks like Sagat. It looks like Sagat's throw a little bit. No, oh, man, they're really far away. We'll see. This is probably, okay, let me guess. The quarrel kick is going to be meaty. Activate V trigger. You know, you know how it is. You know how it is. Vera Bros Little Heavies, this looks like it it, it uh, leaves quite a bit of distance. I doubt his dash is going to co cover that. It's probably going to be like a Vera Bros to reset neutral. You throw a fireball behind it, that kind of thing. What I do with my hands? Huh? What? I'm trying not to look at the chat, man. I'm making a YouTube video. 
<laughs> Twitch.tv slash automatic. That's where I've been. That's where I'd be. I'm playing Punch Planet. <laughs> So this is uh this is like the knee drop that Urian has, except Urian goes up and then at an angle. In third strike, Gil goes in a little circle, a little circle. And I imagine the same the same is the case for this. Now the advantage to Urian, oh man, I actually gotta I got I got a thing for this. Where is it at? The pen. Mmm, cool. How do I use this? I forgot. I had hotkeys. Um, word. Okay, so this is what Urian's dive kick looks like, or not dive kick, but you know the the violence knee drop. So this is say this is medium kick, this is heavy kick, this is light kick. Ex, you can kind of direct a little bit. Am I making that up? But for Urian, let's get a different color. For Urian, it's probably gonna look something like this, and then like this, and then like this, or something like that, right? It's gonna go like in a circular formation. The difference is Urian when he's at the apex. You don't know which direction he's going to go down. But for Urian, because it's circular, you can you might be able to get a better idea of how to anti it before it happens. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Gil? Thanks, Switch Chat. <laughs> yeah, for, for Gil, I remember the inflection I said, too. Okay, how do I get rid of this? You know what I'm saying? And how do I get to mouse off? I remember my hotkeys. So that may be how that works. You can imagine it's going to be the same thing where it's intended to go over fireballs. Maybe you can use it in combos. Maybe. Maybe it, it leaves them in a juggle state. That's what Urian can do. You see the enders in the, with like uh, Urian does crouching heavy punch and then another crouching heavy punch, violence knee drop. Maybe Gil has something similar. But I don't think we actually see his crouching heavy punch and how it behaves. Yeah, I think we do. Because you can, you can be pretty sure that it will be an anti-air that juggles. But we'll see. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's, he does have the clothesline, and uh, let's see. Okay, so what I predict is the clothesline is going to be used for, like, meterless Oki, right? And even here, you see Stan, <laughs> the old Stan medium punch, crouch medium punch. I can't wait to play Urian. Actually, I can't wait to play as Urian and dash up his standing medium punch and get a counter hit, crouch and heavy. Oh, man. Retribution. I'm a Gil main. <laughs> so, yeah, Stan medium punch, crouch medium punch, tackle. Now, what will be interesting is if this whiffs on Crouch, then maybe you got to do a fireball to end it, right? Something like that. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, it, it, it may be a problem if this whiffs on Crouching. But we'll, that's, we won't know until we get it. So this is the heavy kick anti-air. That's, that's crazy. This is a big difference from Urian. Uh, so, and it feels redundant. I'm already thinking like, okay, you can anti-air... Okay, in the position of Urian, you could... Crouching Heavy Punch is an extremely rewarding anti-air, but sometimes you don't have the correct angle for it. They're a little bit too, like, above you, and Crouching Heavy Punch will whiff. But with Urian, you can hit Standing Heavy Kick, and it's a good anti-air, but it doesn't give you nearly the same reward. It's just better than getting jumped, uh, jumping. Gil can cancel his Heavy Kick, and then the Fireball juggles, and then etc., etc. So, even if he can't use his Crouching Heavy Punch as a juggle, his Standing Heavy Kick... Or crouching, yeah, crouching heavy punch. His standing heavy kick will be very, very uh, valuable because I think it should be a better anti than crouching heavy punch. But we'll see. There's no real, uh, no real telling. Mm -mm -mm. And, oh, that's an up projectile, and it's ice. And I think this. Okay, judging by the visual indication of them being blue, I think that you you freeze their stun bar. Colleen can do this with her V-Trigger 1. I think you freeze their stun bar if you anti-air them, which means if you play neutral... So the, so the whole thing is, okay, stun, after you wait a certain amount of time in neutral, your stun will start depleting. But if you're frozen, uh, your stun is going to stay the same. So you have to keep going. You have to uh, contact your opponent to get rid of this free state. At least with, that's how it works, works with Colleen. So Urian might be able... Or excuse me, Gil might be able to do this with uh, anti-air. Or even just like bread and butter combos. And the tackle for the... Oh, that's pretty sick. The tackle for the ender. Oh, man. Does he get off the ground? Oh, and this is the V-Skill. That's his V-Skill 1? Just like Colleen. That's Hailstorm. So it's almost like Colleen has been a little bit of foreshadow of what Gil will be capable of. Right? This is going to set up like uh, Oki. Oh, and this is also... This combo was done with their stun bar already uh, completed. So yeah, 
So you know how Colleen does Parabellum when they're stunned and then jump, heavy kick. Uh, Gil should be able to do the same thing. I'm assuming that uh, it's going to... It's going to be like the most damaging combo, but it's also going to build him V-Skill. And even if you stun your if you stun your opponent, then uh, you're already probably ahead or you're kind of behind. I don't know. But the the, the, the fact that this is a V-Skill and it's going to build more V-Meter, it might put you even further in head. It just depends on how much these uh, these V-Triggers cost and how, how, like, how like good they are, you know, what, what, what you can activate with. So that's really good. This is going to be decent and neutral too. It seemed like it had a lot of startup, but... Uh, it might not be able to, you might not be able to direct where it goes. It might be a set position, but yeah, he's looking like, uh, like Colleen and Urian together a little bit, right? So we'll see. So that's a jumping off of the V skill. Heavy punch. College medium tackle. So I, I bet one of these, one of these, uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I bet one of these tackles whiffs on crouch. Crouching medium. I think this is going to be heavy uh, clothesline, and that's going to juggle, and then you juggle again. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> that's what you do in third strike, but Gil's not like a really a character that you play, you know, he's just a boss character. I think the heavy clothesline will whiff on Crouch, but we'll see. That was Crouching Heavy Punch into EX Fireball Activate. I'm assuming this V Trigger 1 Primal Fire will be three bars. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa was that for. I think, wait, 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 hold on, hold on, rewind, rewind. I think that was Crouch Heavy EX Fireball, all right? Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. I think that that is his overhead, probably forward heavy punch. And he can't, wait, 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 he canceled off of that? Oh, maybe that's just regular standing heavy punch. Maybe that's not an overhead. Dash up, and then I think this is standing heavy punch. It crush counter for some reason, though. I don't know, I don't know if this is like a real combo. We can't really tell if there's no like combo counter, but... Uh, can you crush counter in between a combo? I don't know. I don't know about that one, Chief. But we'll see. So that was crush counter, probably heavy punch into a uh, down heavy punch. The launcher into fireball. EX up fireball. So uh, he's probably going to have just like Urian, where you have different combinations of EX that go either in the air or forward. Um, Yeah. And that juggles. So this, his V trigger one is probably a lot like his V skill, but stronger. Maybe faster, more active, more hits. This is probably hitting more than once. So you could, I think you'll be able to use whatever this move is in neutral. And maybe you'll have advantage behind it. Maybe you have advantage up close. Maybe you could throw it, throw Oki. We'll see. Uh, yeah, and this is causing another juggle state, right? I'm assuming. Because we got to do hype trailer combo. Yep, the tackle. And maybe the tackles are enhanced when you activate V-Trigger 1 as well. Stand, light kick, crouch, light kick. Is that a target combo? I want to say he had that in, in Third Strike. He had a target combo. Uh, crouch, light kick, crouch, medium kick. That is absolutely a target combo. And then it confirms into... Oh, I don't know. Maybe you hit heavy punch and heavy kick and hold it. You get a projectile or you release it and it's just one hit. Like, G. Like, like, uh, G's, uh, presidential explosion. That looks a lot like it. You know, when he was talking about the prophecy stuff, I was thinking, like, maybe G's a false prophet, right? Hmm? Illuminati. <laughs> okay, well, I think I just missed a little bit there. Oh, heavy kick into it again. Okay, chain combo. Probably the V-Trigger. It looks like it's crush countering again. Maybe that's just how Guild does it. And this is probably a uh, coral kick again and then canceled into, I don't know, some kind of cinematic experience. Why did it make that camera angle? I think that was, I think that's not how the game normally does it. I think it just is like the, the V trigger skill and then you hold it. If I had to guess anything. Okay, let's see, let's see what happens here. Right after this. Okay. Another target combo. That's the same target combo that Urian has. Light punch, medium punch, and then this looks like EX Fireball or Pyrokinesis. Dash up. What move is that? Who has that? That looks familiar. But it linked in the crush and heavy. Why does it look like his moves are crush countering? It looks like his moves are crush countering while they combo, right? 
I don't know, maybe they, maybe they just visually look like that. <laughs> okay, so this is Isotho, so he has a fire one and an ice one. This is probably gonna have the similar stun mechanic, uh, where they turn blue and their stun bar does not deplete because they're frozen, right? Okay, EX Fireball, he brings out a gun. <laughs> this is probably a lot like Colleen's V-Trigger 1, right? Where it has a lot of block stun, probably safe on block, or uh, advantageous on block. That one, this one right here. That is what, that, this is Colleen's V-Trigger 1 except shorter. And you can see he dashes up and then he, yeah, you absolutely have advantage there. But what was the setup here? Okay, this is probably one of the, this, this is definitely one of the V-Trigger 2 mechanics. Wall bounce, so wall bounces in Street Fighter V, Wall bounces in Street Fighter V, you cannot back recover. So you can only normal recover and no recover. So that means if you have a combo like this, you have more, you have, they have less options on wake up. And it's not like, it's not like you have a whole lot of options anyways, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So if you can't back recover, they're going to be in that position. You're going to get a, uh, you're going to get a pretty good setup off of that. Very likely. But you also get this juggle. So, uh, okay, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. Juggle. And uh, heavy kick, more buttons. That looks like a... Okay, that was... I don't know what button that was. I've never seen it before. But it's canceled into the ice. So probably they get up into it. Yeah, it's like a meaty. And, you know, I can only assume that this is going to OTG. If you get a, a, a knockdown, they don't get off the ground. Or like a crush counter knockdown. This move is probably going to OTG. And maybe even you get a super off of it. Something like that. We'll see. So this is definitely like a meaty ice thing, and then he did okay, cool, got it. But I don't know, I, I'm assuming this is going to have frame advantage uh, when you do it like neutral. Oh, there's a knee, can he combo off of it? Of course, Urian. <laughs> tackle! Tackle! That means that that has to be pretty fast. This is probably light punch tackle. So, it, okay, I think light punch tackle is going to be like a bread and butter, meatless kind of thing. But maybe this is different in V-Trigger. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Whenever he comes out, I'll be the first person. You know what I'm saying? I'll be a first person. Figure it all out. To figure it all out. And how did he get that? How did he get that knee? Oh, it was off of the, the throw bait, right? Throw bait, crouching, heavy punch. Knee. Oh, it hits up there. Cool. Dang, man, that's corner carry too. So this is V skill 2. Blocking. So yeah, in, uh, in Japan they call blocking carry. I wonder if it's on frame one, man. If if his V skill 2 parry is on frame 1, oh man, I'm a Gil main. You know, some of my best results in tournament were with Urian. I got top 8. Mm -hmm. With Urian. And then I kind of, you know, took the back seat. And I got on Street Fighter League. Uh, Gil isn't charged. No, he wasn't charging third strike, but we'll, we'll see. Oos, oos. Oh man, I get the parry? I just want to look at this for a little bit because, you know. Kuma players, they be doing all kinds of stuff. Can't wait to, I can't wait to blocking it. So I'm also assuming that when you use this, you have to hold down or neutral to parry down or just parry in neutral. But I'm just so curious if it's gonna be on the first frame or what. If he has parry on the first frame, oh! I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be back. Oh, we got juggles. Let me let me get this. Thing. Cryokinesis soup. Okay, not not a big deal there. Except for the super is cool. is that, I think that's all we got. This is pretty cool, man. <laughs> they might have done it again. Does not require. Uh, I'm a beast. I'm gonna be uh, straight up and down. Sagat carried me like my interest in this game. Like real talk. If it weren't for Sagat, I'd be, I'd, be, I'd be hurt right now to be, like, really playing. But I like Sagat, you know, I really like playing Sagat, and that kept me in the game. This character might do it again. The last batch of characters, I liked playing Honda for, like, two weeks. Lucia felt like, you know, it's, this has been done before. There's, there's characters who have just pretty much the same thing. Uh, but, uh, Perry? But we didn't see his V-Skill 1, did we? I don't know, man. That's that's a lot. Ah, uh, what was it? Let me see. Let me review the Twitch chat for a moment. Link us the notes. <laughs> Character right now yet? No way. It's frame one. I hope it is, man. Let me see. Even if it's frame three, man, I'm good with that. It's probably reuse is frame three, but he doesn't have to parry. He doesn't. Have to, he doesn't have to choose between high or low. We'll see. I think part of reuse problem with his V skill is he doesn't get enough reward off of it. 
So maybe that is an indication that his V skill, like if you parry a jump in, you might have plus frames. You know, you don't actually parry, you don't actually punish the jump in. But we'll see. I hope so, man. But if it if it if his V skill is on frame one, that sucks because that, that that means like you know Ryu just has to hold that. Uh, we'll see. I think that's about it. Y'all y'all got anything for me? I'm gonna throw this up on YouTube like right now. Check the link. Uh, okay. Yeah, the background music's great. Cool. Well, that's it for now. I hope you learned something. I appreciate y'all. I got up out of bed with my lovely wife just to make this video. So I hope y'all got something out of it. Y'all take it easy. Uh, what was it? I uh, hope you learned something. I'm automatic. Peace.